Moving on to the next concept in polynomial functions, we're going to talk about constant differences. And to talk about constant differences, I'm going to start off with an example. So let's say I have this function f of x equals 4x minus 1, and I made a table of values for it here, so from an x value of negative 2 to positive 2. So to find the differences, what you do is you go to your table of values, or you make a table of values, and you take every bottom y value and subtract the y value that's above it. So for example, negative 9, we can't start with negative 9 because there's no y value above it, so we would start with negative 5. Negative 5 minus negative 9, so negative 5 minus negative 9 is the same as negative 5 plus 9, which would give us 4. So the difference between these two values, these two y values, is 4 negative 1 minus negative 5, that would also give us 4. 3 minus negative 1, that is 4. And then 7 minus 3, that is 4 as well. Now something I want to reiterate, and I'm going to reiterate multiple times throughout this video because it's a common mistake. You always take the bottom y value, subtract the top y value. Bottom y value, subtract the top y value. Bottom y value, subtract the top y value. A lot of students, what they do is they take a y value and subtract the bottom y value, which would be wrong because if we took negative 9 and subtracted negative 5 from it, that would be negative 9 plus 5, which would give us negative 4, and that would be a different answer. So make sure that you're always taking a y value and subtracting the top y value from it to get your differences. Now this column of force here are called our first differences because it's the first column that we made from subtracting this table of values. And notice how this column is constant, has a constant value of 4. So since the first differences are constant, then the function that we're dealing with we know is linear or has a degree of 1. So in this case we already knew we were dealing with a linear function because we were given 4x minus 1 which has a degree of 1, x to the power of 1 there. However, if we were just given this table of values and we weren't given this function algebraically and we took the differences, because the first differences were constant, we know that this function would have been linear. So it's a nice way to check what degree of function you're working with. Moving on to the next example, so f of x equals negative 3x squared plus 4x minus 1. I made a table of values for it from x values negative 2 to positive 2. So now that we have our table of values, let's find what the first differences would be. So what do we do? We take this y value and subtract the top y value. So negative 8 minus negative 21 would be the same as negative 8 plus 21 which would give us 13. Notice again how we took the negative 8 and subtracted negative 21. We didn't take negative 21 and subtracted negative 8 because that would give us negative 13. And that would be incorrect. Right, so you always take the bottom y value and subtract the top y value. So let's move on to the next one. Negative 1 minus negative 8 would give us positive 7. 0 minus negative 1 would give us positive 1. Negative 5 minus 0 would give us negative 5. So this column right here is our first differences. I'm just going to put first here. These are our first differences. And notice here how they're not constant as they were in this example. So if the differences aren't constant, what we have to do is we have to take the differences of this column now and find our second differences. And same thing applies. We take the bottom value and subtract the top value. So 7 minus 13 would give us negative 6. 1 minus 7 would give us negative 6. Negative 5 minus 1 would give us negative 6. And this column here is our second differences. And we could keep going on and on and find our third differences, fourth differences, etc., etc. So the second differences were constant and we're dealing with a function with a degree of 2. So if the second differences are constant, then the function has a degree of 2. And are you noticing a pattern here? So the first differences were constant here 
and this function was a degree of 1. Second difference is we're constant here, and this function is a degree of 2. So it seems like that whichever column, first, second, third, and so on and so on, whichever column has the constant differences, that is the degree of the function. So the general observation is if the nth differences of polynomial function f of x are constant, that means f of x has a degree n. Another thing to keep in mind is that we're still dealing with polynomial functions for this section. Constant differences only apply to polynomial functions. Now, the last thing I want to talk about before finishing up this constant difference overview video is that there's an actual way to find the constant difference if you're given an equation. And that's just equal to a, which is the leading coefficient, times n factorial, or n this exclamation mark. So let's go over what that means. So this n exclamation mark, the way to say that is n factorial. And all that means is that you take your n value and you multiply it by all the numbers below it all the way up to 1. So for example, 4 factorial would be equal to 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. We always end at the 1. So 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 is equal to 24. So 4 factorial is equal to 24. What about 5 factorial? Well, it would be 5, the n value, times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So 5 times 4, 20, 60, 120. You can actually find this on your calculator, this exclamation mark. So you take a number, put the exclamation mark, and you should get these values, and they're called factorials. So for example, if we're given this function negative 4x to the 5 plus 3x minus 4, and we were asked what's its constant difference, well, because we have the leading coefficient, the a value, and the degree of 5, the n value, we can figure that out. So it would just be the leading coefficient, negative 4, times 5 factorial, or the degree factorial. And we already know that 5 factorial, we did it up here, is 120, so it would be negative 4 times 120, which would be negative 480. So if you took this function, made a table of values for it, and took the differences, you would notice that the fifth differences would be constant because we're dealing with a degree of 5 and those differences would be equal to negative 480. Let's, uh, let's even go over this example that we did. So we got negative 3x squared plus 4x minus 1. Well, the constant differences, let's put CD here, the constant differences would be equal to a, the leading coefficient, which is negative 3, so negative 3, times n factorial. The degree is 2, so it would be 2 factorial. And we know that negative 3 times 2 factorial is just 2 times 1, right? We always end at the 1. So negative 3 times 2 times 1 would just give us negative 6. And notice how that is the same as the constant differences that we got there. So it's just a quick way to find out what your constant differences would be. It's also a quick way to check whether you're doing it correctly when you're doing it this manual way. And there's also examples, we'll go over one in the next video, where sometimes you're given a table and you have to figure out, for example, what the leading coefficient is and you would have to use this formula. So we'll go over that in the next video.